Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have another message for you today. It is a read for all of you watching. Um, I call it God's love, so it's in the highest and best concern of, of all of those watching and uh, the messages that the universe wants us to know that are important for our ascension and us coming together with our twins today, okay? So as we start, it is May. It is May 1st, 2019. The one is the magician. So you might want to watch out for any manipulation that might be in the air, but it's also empowerment and being able to use your abilities. The day adds up to the 18-9, which is of the moon, very emotional, moody, feminine, the dark side. So there's a lot of shadow energy that could potentially come up here. But on the bright side, it's very uh, feminine and romantic and magic. So... At 8.59, as I was working on the read, and 59 is the minute before the hour, so the 11th hour, so to speak, and it was just 1.11, um, sirens were going on, okay? So it's definitely the 11th hour. And my nose was running again. It might just be allergies, but I'm not feeling allergies. Yesterday and today, my nose was running a bit, just for a bit, like in odd times. Um, so let me know if that's true for you as well. And then as, as I cut the main deck, the Syrian Starseed deck, I was getting, and may God's love be with you, okay? So that was really beautiful coming in. So the read was done at 927, and 27 is that Ace of Wands. The major arcana for the Syrian Starseed deck were Indigo, which is the magician, again, so that matches the day today. Star seed, which is the fool, power, and then higher self, which is high priestess. There were two swords, three wands, two pentacles, and no cups. So, not emotional necessarily, but there's a lot of cups in the clarifiers, and as always, the read is never how I expected to be when I first put out the original cards. So very, some very loving and interesting things that came up in the read today. So there were no cups, but uh, we have the court cards of the Nine of Pentacles, which is not a court card, but I often see it as such. It's usually a sovereign or an older child, like a teen or in their 20s. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Those were the only court cards. The numbers and the message around the numerology deck were all about new beginnings, physical activity, parenting, and health. The numbers were uh, 10, 9, 19, 1 for the Magician again, 5, 6, 7, that sequence, 67, which is the Knight of Pentacles, which was significant in the read, 99 again, which is that 18 again of the moon, 79, which for me is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, 9, 10, and 232. And I was just getting now, uh, 232, Three is the Empress with two high priestesses around. And I often get in my reads uh, two different high priestesses, like one is the psychic abilities of the twins, and the other can be karmics, who could also be twins, not with their twins, or also just people who dabble in the occult. Okay, so I often get the Viking uh, high priestess or the Viking Italian um, high priest, high priestess. Okay, so just so you know, it could be like two different high priestesses coming up here today or higher selves, and then the Empress between, which is abundance, the earth, Gaia. So there's a lot of feminine energy here. So the message being new beginnings, physical activity, parenting, and health, which is very much about uh, kids stuff, and kids came up in the Romance Angels today as well. But the message here was to show your power by clearing, transmuting wisely, uh, vitamin C was coming up again, as well as the Christ Consciousness being your high vibration, high Kohan, and C. So the salt water of the sea and the movement of the sea, the powerful energy of the sea, is very, um, is very calming, but also um, cures a lot of things. So spending some time down there, you know, always makes you feel better, and there's a reason for that. Because everything's free-flowing, the air and the water. There's no obstacles there. So for the heavy burdens of the collective consciousness, you're transmuting all these energies. The hermit, 
which is the wise one, to the divine feminine for your new beginning, physical activity, parenting, and health. So there's definitely a coming together here of the masculine and the feminine because we've gone from really the feminine as the hermit. Now I'm being shown a lot of the time that the masculine is in the hermit mode as the feminine is coming out of that. So as we get into the read, the underlying energy was the six of orbs with the ace of orbs beneath it. All right? So look at that, how peaceful that is with the dolphins and everything, okay? So as we have this peace on earth with the dolphins and the truth coming out with the dolphins, could be a porpoise there as well, your purpose. As I was looking at them and starting to read, I was getting one step closer. I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you for a thousand years. I'll love you for a thousand more. Okay. So that song was coming up. That's Christina Perry. And then the truth coming out. As peace takes over, the Queen of Wands dysfunctional family, or big loss of money, and the Queen of Wands was upright here. But her dysfunctional family and or big loss of money and love, she could have broken up or, or disconnected with a love, whether it's a divine masculine or another karmic, purging prisoner in a split, which also can be du duplicity and lie, a, a big lie. But she has now the truth, and now because of the truth, she has peace. Sadness and reaping rewards of dreams and stardom, bird taking off to 5D angel, two golden coins, to the stars, to healing, as the divine masculine lay in waiting, shielding his sacral to his root, tummy to foot, with orange blanket and sword of truth, no parking zone, VIP, sacred, sacred, sacred sex only. So there could be some, um, what was I getting? I can't think, uh, my mind is blanking out, but just uh, segregation maybe, that kind of thing. So it's saying like, you know, this is a sacred sex only zone, VIP. As the angel takes one step at a time, one step closer, off the beaten path, rebalancing as he goes. Emotional ripples and tributaries to follow, sometimes still waters and sometimes are vol volatile. Transmute your own inner tor turmoil but universe will guide you around others. No need to walk through theirs. Involve yourself in others' messes, okay? So walk through your emotional stuff, but you don't need to walk through others. You can walk around that or just stay put. Just stay in your high vibration as angel for best results. Still waters run deep by watering the garden and by being by the creek. For a fresh awakening, take a trip to the river or ocean moving quickly. Impatience and recovery from deception Kids letting go of burdens and giving up gold coin to another, you offer your love, as in mother to child. It can be anyone else if you open your heart and release all burdens, i.e. confessions. Oh, I didn't finish writing the word. I love that when that comes up. All the little legs, when you see children, right, are the same. When they're cute little kids, we're all cute and cuddly, even the awkward and the funny looking and the chubby. We still see them as lovable when they're little. They only want to love and to be received as every human being. Children of love will rise even if they're poor students. As long as they drop their burdens and parents allow this to happen instead of giving them more burdens. Okay, so this could be the one with the underlying energy with retreat below it. So there may have, you may have had a little break and then coming through as this could be the one that you've already met the one, okay, that you seek romance with. So the freedom to love here and see the harsh truths that are not love is what shapes us. A hug, a sharing of energy as the King of Wands allows all to see him. The nurturing and kind, the lonely, but also the addictions and patience and jealousies, the truth coming out now. The fool with the snake at his or her side, 
feeding him or her what is not true to himself or herself and them allowing it, not trusting their own intuition or not using their own intuition even if they do trust it. Cracking the whip with a partner and kids, no longer blocking the truth from their kids. They're wiser than you think, you know, the children. They always pick up on this stuff, if not from overhearing you, instinctually from feeling. Natural boots and buttercup yellow, earth in groundedness, coming out with the Taurus energies. Hermit missing his flame when others out together in the spring, you see all the new couples together. The new spring couples are in the air. Is the divine masculine embarrassed to be seen with his twin? Her looks, her age, religion, nationality, psychic abilities, speaking her truth of her weaknesses. This is his mirror, himself, who he is ashamed of being and who he wants to be and is not. If not with your twin divine masculines, you are not loving yourself fully because if you were, you would be gravitating back to you, your twin. Maybe just some final lessons we are both learning about give and take, balance, and patience. And it was 12, 10, 21 there. And it was just 11, 11. Okay, so 11, 11. Just some final lessons we are both learning about give and take, balance, and patience. And 11 is all about justice, okay? But it's also a very visionary. Justice is just truth and balance, you know? It's your being centered, it's your higher self. So justice is a very high vibration, it's very visionary. So they turn the pages 21, so 21 is of completion, of achievement, of going out into the world, of being one with the world, and we have the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune, destiny. So the King of Wands, hermiting, has an announcement or something he has to say. After turning green with envy, perhaps, and gray as sick to stomach, purging what you've digested over the years. Awake to the love the Divine Feminine's been sending you for years now, every day, every moment. You may have felt above her in status, in intelligence, in societal responsibility, commitment, in knowing how to live the good life. What has happened to change all that? Has some truth come out? Hidden abuse and addictions well hidden? Now shadow sides are revealed and the light sides are hidden. No one notices what a good person you are when one bad thing rises to the surface that was lied about. Truth is freedom. Moderation comes up here, and moderation is 14 of the angels being patient. Domestic harmony was beneath that of the 46, the children and the guardian. The guardian. So the children are the guardians because they're the ones who are pure. They know the truth. If you're not sure, you might want to consult with them. So 46 is the two children in the garden, the ones who are pure of heart for domestic harmony. Knight of Cups is out in triumph as liar, cheater, thief, and runner energy makes their way out the door without affection, dumped, overwhelmed, purging, crying, in order to clear so can express feelings, express hours of love, heated exchange, after counting enough sheep already. The bugle is muffled by emotions needing to be released. The voice crackles, some truth you need to speak. Warrior no more, lover you are. With eye on the Holy Grail, no matter what perspective, you are viewing it from. By the light of any moon, you want to spoon in June. Six, the lovers, not May, but June. April showers bring May flowers, but it also brings bees, allergies, competition, and conflict. Expansion, triggers. Letting go of Atlantis and Lemuria to say hello to the new world future of 5D, heaven on earth. Just as homing, torpedo through water or missile through air, the arrows of love have been launched and are heading for you. They will make their mission to home and spirits connecting. It is a homing device. It is fail safe. Now burdens dropped and angels in peaceful waters as, as truths are revealed. And we turn the page, it is 1049. 49 is the Nine of Cups, it's the Get Your Wish card. So the underlying energy signs here, just for the underlying part of the read, are Gemini reversed, Pisces upright, Aries probably upright, Sagittarius reversed, Aquarius upright, Cancer reversed, Scorpio upright. And that was it for the underlying. For the body of the read is all 12 signs are there 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I have all the twelve signs. Um, Virgo is upright, Scorpio upright, Aries upright, Cancer upright, Aquarius reversed, Leo upright, Pisces reversed, Gemini reversed, Sagittarius and Libra both reversed, Capricorn upright, and Taurus upright and revo reversed. The Hierophant was upright and the Empress was reversed. So probably more masculine or establishment energies were actually upright, but the feminine Taurus was reversed. So at 1049, no avoiding wake-up calls anymore, you guys. Moderation, the call of the day. You have already met the romantic partner that you seek to stay. Recently here, the star seed came up. Star seed planted a big download, covered up. So here on this this recent past card was a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of cover-up because there's a lot of crap going on there. So there's a couple different scenarios here. So the high priestess here could be psychic, could be the divine feminine high priestess, it could be the secret offer, it could be the Viking priestess, right? You have Viking Italian, karmic or child. Or this energy here in the read can also be about um, the Divine Masculine. Before he can come to the Divine Feminine, needs to make sure the karmic and or kids make restitution for any wrongdoings done, okay? So anything that was done between his family and the Divine Feminine, he feels needs to be cleared before he can actually come to her. So that might happen for some of you. It could actually be your own self offering yourself a new life as well, okay? But all of those things I told you, could be high priestess, secret, psychic, karmic, child, whatever it is, maybe offering a new life or a sum of money for restitution to the Queen of Swords, and definitely get this as the Divine Feminine speaking her truth from behind, so they come up from behind, she's not expecting it, as she speaks her truth. Death of the Patriarchy, the Divine Masculine had to um, acclimate to um, in dropping his holy communion into her holy grail, the sovereign finds peace with the offer of the knight of pentacles, gold coin, humble and kind, patient and wise, arrows of love, as dolphins jump for joy, knowing angels will be visiting oceans soon. So as I said, this could be the divine masculine coming up from behind and offering his coin, but it could also be the karmic and or a child of the masculine or of the feminine, um, sneaking up behind her to offer some kind of retribution or help. So the foundation here, and this is in the recent past, so this has already happened. The foundation is, or it could be behind the scenes and you don't know that it was there yet, okay? The foundation here is the wounded warrior. So the foundation is the wounded warrior, which could be, I'm getting it's more about the karmic, but it can be divine masculine as well. Possible could be the divine feminine, but it's not really what I was getting. But the wounded warrior is coming up as the knight of pentacles. So whoever the knight of pentacles who is offering something as a surprise coming up to the divine feminine uh, may be this person or may not. So this wounded warrior offers his or her gold coin in order to be judged. So it's like the Divine Masculine coming forward and allowing the feminine to judge him. He's ready. Hearing the call and wanting to help with announcements, suddenly ready to fall if needed, the wounded warrior is ready to receive epiphanies, not afraid of hard work. This also could be a feminine karmic coming forward, or it could be um, a friend. So centrally is the indigo peeking through the window. Okay, so this is the indigo in the center of the reed, so this is the main issue, is the indigo. So this is representative of the magician, but we have to go by this card. So it could definitely be an indigo adult, but it also could be an indigo child that may have issues. Whether it's with the feminine's family or the masculine's family, either way, it could be a child that needs special attention. Um, centrally, it is the indigo peeking through the window. The queen of pentacles is reversed with hermit and or Virgo shedding light on her ungroundedness as the King of Cups rises up in transformation of the Divine Masculine. 
So I'm getting like um, the masculine and the feminine flanking a karmic, which was very interesting. Wanting to help the karmic rise now. And that's actually been coming up where the, the, the feminine woke up and then the masculine woke up and now everyone in the families around them wakes up. So now the karmics may need help. This also could be just the, the uh, hermit could also be the queen of pentacles reversed ungrounded. But I was definitely getting that third party um, involvement as well. The Hermit is the Queen of Swords, Messenger of Truth. And the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, is coming up as, could be the Karmic, it could be, uh, she could be a Karmic who's an indigo rebel type person, you know, who may be causing a lot of drama, or a child of the Divine Masculine, or Feminine, and the Karmic. So it could be mother and child as well. The challenge being seeing the light, wanting to climb out of the dark, climb out of the dark. The Fool opens heart to take a leap of faith to no affection from lover and embrace this change. So that's definitely a karmic accepting the change. The queen of swords stuck in emotions of negative past with twin and purged again over it and speaking truth again. Okay, so it's like the queen of swords just showing, yes, she still falls and has purges. It was just 12, it was just 21, 12. But she comes right back and goes out and speaks her truth again. She doesn't let anything hold her back. And if something, if any of this doesn't resonate with you or it resonates in another way, then take it by your intuition, not mine. And if it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Leo or ego takes a leap to offer a new life or restitution to the Oh, so it's like the karm, it's like the karmic saying, the karmic might have done something wrong, or one of the kids might have done something wrong to the feminine. So it's getting like the, the karmic as Leo or Ego, it doesn't have to be the karmic, it can be any karmic, any person in your life, but the Leo or Ego takes a leap to offer the divine feminine a new life, so if it's the masculine, to make up from him to her, or restitution from someone who did something wrong to the enemy, like so the karmic to the feminine, who's the enemy to her, who stole their man. In a bold move of judgment for female bull, so it could be a Taurus, two women expose all about the divine masculine between them, so they may come together to have a discussion. Or also XX was coming up for the two women, but that also can mean 20 years that people have been together, or that finally a divorce comes through. But it's about two women expose all about the divine masculine between them, to clarify the 5D world, it wasn't about to talk about the divine masculine, it was about to clarify what, what actually happens with this 5D world and move the divine masculine to only one woman. Whether it's done in faith or so the Leo can look good to the divine masculine and or the world, rescue efforts are underway for a union, sudden jealousies, explosions and epiphanies around the twin flames, romantic tie. Now crowning jewel are downloads passed down the chute like the Kerplunk game, decisions are made and clear as grounding and integrating and mastering love offered from God. Source, universe, love. Okay. So the challenge here, this was the burdens, okay? And needing to get the indigo to the light. And then now we have in the crowning position was that liar to your thief card, but in this deck, the Searing Star Seed, it's much about passing on your downloads. It's a little bit different than the other one. And people observing this. So the Emperor suddenly gets his wish of a possible passionate exchange, whether it's just fast paced communication or actually coming together coming together physically or just going out and playing, okay? So we turn the pages 11, 16. We have Justice and the Tower. And the Tower was definitely coming up at the end here. After not walking away from difficult emotions and now dealing with them, unhappiness and lack of satisfaction without options, all take a risk to lay down their swords and apologize. Give up the battle and the war. So we had both the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords next to each other reverse, which was great because it's like giving up the whole war. It's like the end of the war. In lieu of casual fun, flirtation and dancing, 
even if uncomfortable at first. With the Empress with Snake nearby and big love, work connection, fantasy, needing to express deep feelings of justice, divorce, Libra, overly sweet fairy, forcing sweetness upon him, two spoons of sugar or fruit in a quest, will the real twin please stand up? Okay, so there may have been confusion with the Mastin on whether his partner was his twin or his twin was his twin. So soon is the sovereign here. Okay, and this could be multiple people. This could be the divine feminine, and some, it could be a divine masculine as well, but it also could be a teen or someone in their 20s, okay? So it could be one of the children. So soon that sovereign is over lost but uninspired, now awakened and must dump all emotional attachments that no longer serve. So it definitely could be the divine feminine, including holding grudges toward any of the divine masculine's family, even if they've done bad things to you, okay? And vice versa. There's a peace offering taking place, and kids get over the loss, but may feel uninspired now that there's no more drama in the air. Uh, burdens are dropped, confessions made, new life offered, and karmic will deal, even if not happy about it. She may be Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a combination of these. Um, also, Taurus, Cancer, Leo could be involved with the drama aspect of that. The karmic is putting her horns away for the sake of the children. And then I was getting, you are the world, you are the children, okay? When we got to the spot of how you see yourself. You are the queen of pentacles, okay? Grounded and stable. Very much the, the mother personality. You are the queen of pentacles in connection with twin, injustice and or divorce being worked out as the magician manifesting, but not working or can't focus because it's all too much right now. Um, soulmate came up from romance angels as well as children that they are affecting your love life. Reconciliation is here. Someone's from the past maybe coming back to your life and let your friends help. The queen of pentacles is seeing eye to eye. So we got the two of cups on her. While Aries may be amidst Libra reversed and unaligned people at work. Okay. So this could be the feminine as the queen of pentacles and then the masculines, they're both seeing eye to eye but the masculine still may be struggling with a difficult situation at home or at work, okay? Uh, around you, or how you are seen, is the king of wands shaman. The king of pentacles come clean. So he was also coming up as the king of pentacles, okay? So taking care of other people financially, but also coming into his shaman energy. He's coming clean about third party, gossip and or overindulgences. Now announcements of the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands may stun or shock some people. And as I wrote this sentence down, it was 1143 again, which is the Three of Cups and sirens were going off. Uh, clear blocks of the tower and sudden events, as I turn the page, it's 1144. It says justice and, and mastering the 44, grounding and integrating. Sudden events, epiphanies regarding Leo, ego, strength, courage, on the warpath, chaos breeds contempt and lack. Don't be forceful or roughshod over others in confessions and in order to try to drop your burdens. All right? So this is the challenge here for you to, the burdens or the uh, things that you need to clear, any blocks. It's about sudden events, drama, epiphanies. New beginning comes up from the numerology deck, like I said in the beginning, physical activity and parenting as well as health. This is the focus. The emperor fends off others who may be trying to wake up to him or get in good with him or meet him when he has only one on his mind and self-love. So the final two cards of the read here is higher self and then the five of cups, which is the after the read card. Higher self, romantic tie with flame and sudden jealousies and union of fairies and sweeties to him and other men giving the divine feminine attention. So reconciling other people who may be giving you both attention. Um, it just may be others who are jealous of your connection as well. Higher self, queen of cups is sealed and marching to her own drum. Apart from jealousies, now in union with self and emperor, truth and balance. Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus energies here, 
as well as possible Capricorn and Sag, uh, family and or marriage over and or unhappy fighting in a, in a quest for divorce or fighting because one refuses to divorce even though all are unhappy, um, grieving and getting over sadness and loss. News of message of the King of Wands reversed, feeling like a failure or unhappy, tired, angry, um, not getting attention or the good news that he wants. However, this does not stop the arrows of love. The back and forth and passionate exchange go on. Peace, as truth is revealed of the wounded warrior, Sag Scorpio Aquarius and or Virgo energies, the Queen of Pentacles and King of Wands in a fresh start in a leap of faith, planting seeds with indigo challenge and sovereign exploding, possibly with risky behavior, connecting to higher self and grief that they need to release. So this could be an older child who's acting out, could be in sexual ways or in just dangerous ways, um, because they're being emotional and they're not releasing it in a proper way, but also because they're awakening and they're connecting to their higher self. So truth and peace of fresh start with new seeds, big download, arrows of love as the wounded warrior indigo takes risks or possibly lies, cheats or steals to get out of trouble, having trouble seeing the light and channeling downloads. The queen of pentacles and or the sovereign and king of wands shaman so the king, of, the king of Pentacles could also be the Sovereign, or the Queen of Pentacles could be with a daughter sh who's the Sovereign, and the King of Wands Shaman with dealing with sudden events and epiphanies are now both coming together at higher self to clear grief for arrows of love to come in. Whoever is the indigo, adult or child, this is the issue. They need help toward the light with burdens and confessions of wrongdoing, which is the challenge. The higher self must continue to process and pass on downloads to the indigos in order to help. Twins are finding peace, working things out, releasing ego and warlike efforts. So releasing all those ego type energies. And as I finish this, a car raced south. That was at 1210. And that was the end of the read. So I'm going to do some oracle cards as well, but I'm going to close this one out after I show you the read. All right, so this is the, the basic read here. And then this is this way. This is the full read. I think that was it. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So... Drink your water, get your rest, have fun, go outside. It's beautiful out now. And rise and be love, you guys. Bye.